to me We would always stay this free And I would never let you go Cause of you Don't wanna waste another minute without you I will love you in the dark And if you ever clan and welcome back why do i always clap what's up today i know i look a little crazy well tonight i'm actually just like chilling and i did a little face mask as you can tell um and i kind of just have been really driven to make this video and it's going to be all about breastfeeding as you guys probably already see in the title but i've just gotten a lot of questions recently about my breastfeeding journey how I breastfeed in public, how I got the confidence to breastfeed in public. So anyways, I just thought I would sit down and just chat with you guys. And this just be a really chill, like, relaxed video, obviously, as you can tell. And I just want to kind of hang out with you guys and just tell you guys about my breastfeeding journey because I feel like I have a lot to offer you guys as far as advice and such because I have gone through bottle feeding with Wilder and breastfeeding now with Hazel, as you guys know. Wilder was bottle fed I breastfed him for probably a week and I gave up and um, this time I really really pushed myself I was like I really want to breastfeed this is what I want to do I really reached for all the resources that were available to me and I just wanted to make it work and I feel like if you put your mind to it and you want to breastfeed and you have your heart set on it and that's what you want to do I believe that you can accomplish it and I'm just going to give you all of my advice and tips and some of the products that I've used. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. I asked you guys questions on Instagram and I want to go ahead and answer a few of those. I got a lot of repetitive questions, so let's go ahead and check them out. Um, one of the first few questions was, worst thing someone said to you about breastfeeding and public? And honestly guys, I get most looks. Like, I don't get that many people that actually come up to me and say something. Um, however, the other day I did have a woman come up to me and she asked if I wanted a nursing cover because we were at the park and we were in front of children. We should be normalizing breastfeeding and I feel like where we should start with that is children and I feel like me nursing in front of children shouldn't be a big deal it should be totally normalized and that's where it should start so the next few generations or all of the generations coming will be normal like if you make something normal it becomes normal, normal. so yeah we should definitely start with children but anyways to answer your question the only really really negative comment that i've gotten is just someone asking me like if I had a nursing cover, if I could put on a nursing cover or whatever. And I was just like, politely like, no, like I don't wear nursing covers. And that's another question a lot of you guys ask is, do you wear nursing covers? And no, I absolutely do not. Um, there's been a few times where, um, whenever I was first starting breastfeeding, I would carry it with me at all times because I was always like, Maybe there's that one scenario where I will need it and I tried it one time and it's just not comfortable at all. I'm sorry if you can hear the crickets because Garrett keeps going in and outside. But those crickets are so loud. I know, it's crazy. Um, but anyways, yeah, I have tried it one time, a nursing cover, and it was whenever I first started nursing and, you know, I was just kind of getting the hang of things. And it wasn't for me. Hazel did not like it at all. I didn't like it at all. It was hot. We're in Florida, so it's hot. Hazel's a very distracted eater, so just having that over her just made her distracted and she just didn't like it. Anyways, nursing covers are not for me. I will not use them. Um, and I just feel like that's your right. What's great about breastfeeding is it's legal now to breastfeed in public, so you have the right to do it however and whenever you please. So to answer your question, no, I do not wear a nursing cover, nor will I ever. Okay, a lot of you guys, like this is a repetitive, repetitive question. A lot of you guys are asking, does it hurt? What are some tips for whenever it does hurt? Um, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, 
in the beginning of your breastfeeding journey for a lot of women it does hurt and the first two weeks are hell and that's just the honest truth um maybe even more than two weeks for me it lasted probably about two to three weeks what it is is it's your body getting used to having a human being literally on your nipple 24 7 and it's just a body shock really like your nipples get really sore um and a lot of women including me my nipples got cracked they bled um but don't let this scare you like this doesn't last long like it doesn't last forever and once you can get over that hump of um you know the soreness and pain and stuff it's the most beautiful thing that you will ever do in your entire life and i can tell you that right now like it is the best bond with your baby and it's just it's so crazy to me still that hazel's almost five months old and it's just been me my body that has nurtured her this whole time and i i just like i've nurtured her she is however many pounds 15 pounds maybe and like i did that i am just giving her life and it's just this beautiful thing and once you can get over that hump of you know all the pain and soreness it really does make it worth it because i'm here to tell you i bottle fed wilder and to get into that i tried breastfeeding for about a week and i could not get over that hump and it's okay if you can't um but this is just for people that really are interested in breastfeeding want to breastfeed or are breastfeeding and need some tips but um i just i couldn't get over the hump and it was really 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 hard for me i remember i had mastitis and just my nipples were cracked and bleeding and i was a first time mom and i had really no great resources around and it just wasn't a good situation um the lactation consultants where i delivered wilder they weren't very much help and i just felt so alone and honestly like it just hurt so so bad regardless i just gave up just one day i was like garrick i cannot do this anymore i need to get cabbage leaves or whatever i need to do to dry up my milk because i am done i'm i threw in the towel so early and i regretted it for so long you guys i cried over it i regretted it because wilder had a milk protein allergy which it was so hard to find the right formula for him and he was so fussy the majority of his newborn stage even up until like 10 months old he was just he was so colicky and so fussy and i just felt like what if you know what if i breastfed and all of that would have gone away and we wouldn't be having this issue and it just really 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 made me so upset all the time to the point where i tried relactating i joined all these different kind of groups on facebook which it is a thing like you can relactate um but i couldn't i couldn't produce enough for him and i just got so so fed up and i tried and tried and tried my hardest but by that time he was already a year old before i was even producing enough milk not even enough milk just a little bit of milk and it was just a long journey anyways um if you guys want to see a video all about relactation i would love to do that for you but yeah that's a whole video within itself but yeah i tried relactating because i felt so bad um but really it was just it wasn't my journey with him and i feel like i have a lot of knowledge now on um, bottle feeding versus breastfeeding because of that situation and learning all I did from bottle feeding I knew that I did not want to do that because there's so much that goes into it number one it's very expensive especially with the formula that Wilder was on he was on a very special type because he had a milk protein allergy which can happen to your baby they can you know have to be on a specific type of formula which is very expensive and all the bottles that you have to get and clean that was just that was a big factor cleaning bottles making sure you have you know the formula and the bottles and the cleaning materials that you need before you head out the door it was just it's so much easier to breastfeed and so much more convenient i wouldn't say wilder is any different or hazel is healthier than wilder because i bottle fed one and i breastfed one i would not say that at all but I do have a very strong bond with Hazel that I didn't get to have with Wilder 
whenever I was bottle feeding. It's just, it's completely different because it's actually you nurturing your baby and it's just, it's a lot different. I don't know how to explain it. Like if you aren't breastfeeding right now, I really don't think that you would understand. Um, it's just, it's, it's, it's wild y'all. It's wild. And I'm so excited that you're watching this video if you're somebody that is interested in breastfeeding because I'm just so passionate about it and it's just a journey. It really is. But for the first few weeks of um, you breastfeeding or you're breastfeeding right now and you're having trouble getting over that hump, I highly, highly recommend these Medela Tender Care um, like gel pads. These really saved my life whenever it comes to that hump that I keep referring to, like the, the painful stages of breastfeeding, your body getting used to it. Um, they called these, what did they call it? Dressing. They called these this dressing in the um, hospital and I was always like, what are you talking about? They're like, yeah, do you want more dressing? And I'm like, what? But um, yeah, take as many of these as you can get if they provide them for you at the hospital. Take as many as you can get because I think they are pretty expensive. I still have a few left over. If any of you guys are breastfeeding right now and you guys need materials, I would, I would gladly send these to you um, because I have a few left. But along with that, definitely lanolin cream and this kind is really really good i use this just because they gave me a lot of samples um and i literally i would go through these legit guys in like two days because if you apply this stuff it really 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 helps and these are just little samples that they gave me too that i would be happy to pass down to another mama but yeah those really helped and nipple shields get nipple shields i would not have been able to get through my journey with hazel that hump with hazel if it was not for nipple shields like even with these even with all the creams in the world like if i didn't have the nipple shields i really feel like those are a godsend because i wouldn't have been able to make it i'm not even kidding you guys for everyone it's different but i'm just telling you from my journey the beginning is very rough and I got mastitis in the beginning of Wilder and that's whenever I just quit and I got it with Hazel as well and it was so sad because it hit me like bricks you guys mastitis is no joke one day I just like sat on the bed and I just started bawling my eyes out because it just hit me so fast like the fever the chills the body aches it was so so bad my boobs were so engorged and that's totally normal for your boobs to be engorged by the way in the first few weeks because like I said it's your body getting used to everything but my boobs were so engorged and it, it was just so painful and I remember calling my doctor and I'm like please please I'm having all these symptoms I know it's mastitis please just write me a prescription for antibiotics so I don't have to come in and bring my newborn and it was really great because she just wrote me a prescription and I took it and it was gone and it was great but if you ever get mastitis or if you have mastitis right now i am praying for you like i am so sorry but you will get through it it does not last forever nothing lasts forever you guys and i'm telling you if you can get over the hump it'll be the best thing that you ever did and i kept telling myself i was like i can do this i can do this and then whenever i got mastitis i was like garrick i cannot do this and he's like it's okay babe you got it it's okay i know you want this so don't give up and I'm so glad he told me that because I didn't give up and here we are today. And that brings me to another question. Many of you guys have been asking, how long do I plan on breastfeeding Hazel? And the answer to that is whenever she really wants to stop. I have no like, oh, it's been a year, I'm going to cut you off type of thing. I just feel like breastfeeding has so many different advantages and is just so great for your babies health in terms of the antibodies like hazel has not been sick one time and i swear to you wilder by this age by by the time he was five months old he had gotten sick so many times he got rsv and that was the worst time of my life mine and garrick's life it was just it was so sad we were constantly giving him breathing treatments it was the worst thing ever and i feel like during that time was really rough for me because I felt like if I had been breastfeeding then maybe he would have had a lesser chance of getting RSV. Doctors have long known that those 
that are breastfed contract fewer infections than those who are formula fed. Human milk is literally a defense against infection and it's the most craziest thing ever. And another thing is comfort. Like your baby receives comfort out of nursing and I feel like that can be very controversial for the weirdest thing, but anyways, no, I don't have a limit on when I'm going to cut Hazel off. It's just probably going to be a mutual thing. I know that happens a lot with mamas and babies and it just becomes like a mutual thing where they're done with the milk, but I know that's going to be like a really, really sad day because I already am not looking forward to that at all. It's just a, such a good bond. Um, I just, I can't explain it. I actually got this ring made and this is my breast milk and it has flecks of Wilder's umbilical cord and Hazel's umbilical cord and it was made by this company on Etsy called Precious Relics and no, this is not sponsored at all. I genuinely love her and I love what she does. She makes jewelry and she puts sentimental things in the jewelry piece that you choose, whether that's breast milk or um, umbilical cord or hair or flowers or literally anything that you can think of that can go like into a ring or anything, um, even necklaces and such. Maybe this will focus. Let me see. I love it. I love it so much. So thank you to Precious Relics for sending me this. And you guys should definitely go check them out. I'll leave them in my description box below. She's the sweetest woman ever. Do you have any tips on increasing your milk supply? Um, yeah, so I've never really had any issues with my milk supply um, decreasing, knock on wood. Oh my gosh, I am so, so, so blessed that I haven't had an issue with that. Gilly, you just want so much attention, girl. Come here. Um, but I definitely recommend oats and just staying extremely, extremely hydrated. I know there's tons of teas and such out there, so I would definitely look into, um, you know, what you're putting in your body. Because I feel like I have eaten oatmeal and tons of things with oats in them, and it really, like, just for one week, and I could really seriously tell a difference. Like I was feeling a bit more engorged and I feel like I was producing a lot more milk. And I really think that it's because of the oats. So I would highly, highly recommend that and like the mother's milk tea and all that kind of stuff. Do you get offended by what people say if or when they give you looks in public? Honestly, no, I don't at all. Um, I feel like the more that people do it in public and the more that people get talking about it, the more normal it will be. I don't feel like any mother should feel ashamed or dismiss herself whenever she's breastfeeding or I, I just don't think that it should even be a thought. Like if your baby is hungry, whip it out and feed your freaking baby. Don't worry about a cover. Don't worry about who's watching you. And I know how easy that may seem for me to say, but it really isn't easy for people. And that's just so, so crazy to me. I just feel like it should just be this natural thing that people don't look at you twice about. It's still so crazy to me that people give me looks. And I'm talking about like literally everywhere I go, I don't care what people think. I really don't. I I just watch and observe what people are saying or people have never said anything to me, but I can just hear them talk amongst like their family or their friends and like the way they look at me, it's just I don't know why it's a concern to anyone else. It's not like my whole boob is like out there. Like literally Hazel is pretty much covering my boob and my boob is just like out like I just I don't know why it's that big of a deal I don't get offended whatsoever because like I said the more that people see it the more normal it will become and that's just what I really hope for in this world and our generation is just to normalize such a normal thing does it feel weird in public to breastfeed for the first few times um okay so I have a story time for you guys so the first time Garrick and I went out with Hazel we went to Target and I was feeling so confident about my breastfeeding journey and breastfeeding in public until it came down to it and she was hungry and I didn't even have a cover on me. I went to, you know, go ahead and breastfeed her 
and I felt this sudden urge of like fear and I never felt it until like I, I started to do it for the first time in public and I remember feeling so mad so pissed off because I was like I should not feel like this I should not feel like I need to go to the public restroom to feed my baby I just got like so angry for a second and then I did it and I remember I was like wow I was so worried about who was looking and this and that and I literally got breast milk all over my shirt I just remember my shirt being soaked because I was feeding her on the right side and my other boob was leaking so I was soaked and I wasn't even thinking about it and I didn't even notice it because I was so nervous um, until like we were walking out and I was like wow like this should not be the vibe right now yeah after that I completely just like changed my thoughts about breastfeeding in public and I was like you know what like this needs to be normalized and I'm not doing it necessarily just to normalize breastfeeding but like also to empower other women who may be watching me and you know they breastfeed in public restrooms like no girl get out of the bathroom as hard as that is because I can still remember that fear of breastfeeding for the first time but get out of the bathroom you know don't worry about anybody that has anything to say about you breastfeeding drop the freaking cover i know how hard that that can be and how frustrating it is and i've talked to countless women who are like i feel the same way that you do you know it's very inconvenient i know the people that are like anti-breastfeeding are like what's so hard about you putting a cover on well do you eat your cheeseburger with a cover over your face no so why should my baby have to you know the more you do it the more it will be normalized and the, the less that people will have to say about it. Another question I got asked a lot that I really actually love is, did you naturally know how to do it? Did you read about it or did someone help you or what? And the answer is no, it is did not come natural to me. Now it's the most natural thing in the world and I'll just do it wherever. But like at first, so many people just think that it's such a natural thing and like, you're just going to be able to do it when in reality for a lot of women it's so hard and it's hard to get the hang of a baby being on you all the time and what positions to do and like how to latch properly babies can have different latching problems and mamas you can have different issues like your your nipples hurting and just so many different factors that go into breastfeeding it's not just oh here you go i mean that can be your journey for people that are watching this right now and good for you if that is your journey but for a lot of women it is hard and it's something that you have to get used to and it's just something that you have to work on and that's okay like once you get it down it's like riding a bike um a lot of people were asking was wilder ever interested in breastfeeding when he saw hazel doing it and honestly like at first he was kind of curious he was like what the heck what is that i remember he like was patting my chest and I even offered it to him. He, he just doesn't have an interest in it. But at first he was kind of curious like, oh, what is this? What are you doing? Why are you making milk now? I feel like I should be saying the people's names who are asking this. Sorry, I'll start doing that from now on. Um, Valentina.walker1 asks, did you always want to breastfeed? I love you so much. And yes, I've always wanted to breastfeed. I love you too, by the way. I just always wanted that bond and it really is insane the bond that you have with your child when you're breastfeeding it's so crazy and i i'm so blessed that i'm able to experience it does it hurt and feel weird now no actually absolutely not um i honestly don't even like realize it anymore like the feeling i guess um it doesn't hurt it's just become like this natural thing that i just do every freaking hour <laughs> literally a hazel is on my boob all the time how do you get so comfortable walking and feeding it really just comes with doing it like honestly and especially with my toddler running around like i kind of have to um walk and do things all the time so it's just become second nature to me just like anything the more that you do it the more natural it becomes and it's just I would much rather be just like sitting down and feeding her because that's when her and I are both most comfortable and relaxed but 
I have a toddler that I have to chase around all the time, so it's just, it's just a thing. Is breastfeeding as demanding as people make it seem? During special events, is it difficult? This is a good question because it can be hard whenever you are exclusively breastfeeding like I am and you have um, certain events that you have to go to. Like recently I had my friend's wedding um, that I had to pump for a long time in advance. Hazel is just like, I don't know how else to explain it, but like my barnacle. My friend Allie says this all the time, but like she really is. Like she's my barnacle. She's with me all the time and that's just because of the exclusively breastfeeding part and the fact that she's you know so small she just she just made it a baby yeah so it can be hard whenever you have like special events that you need to attend like i was saying my friend's wedding i had to pump for a while in advance because i was going to be gone um you know getting ready with them and all that kind of stuff and i'm pumping currently for cameron's wedding coming up um, so, I mean, it's not hard. It's just something that you have to plan in advance if you, you know, plan on being away from your child for very long. And whenever I just said exclusively breastfeeding, what I'm meaning is not exclusively just on my breast, but exclusively breast milk, just to clarify. Because sometimes she does get bottles. Um, whenever we're home, she never has a bottle, but like whenever we are out and about or like in the car, like for road trips and stuff, um, sometimes I will give her a bottle. Tips for pregnant mamas to prepare for breastfeeding. Um, my tips would definitely be to stock up on some nipple shields to bring with you, um, maybe even to the hospital, uh, because even in the hospital, like those first few days that you're in the hospital, it can really, really hurt. And I'm not trying to scare anyone, but like, your baby is cluster feeding, meaning they're always on your boob trying to produce more milk. Your baby is gonna be on your boob a lot and your nipples are not used to that. So it can't get hard. So like I said, for the 50th time, nipple shields, lanolin cream, try to get these like um, some kind of like soothing pads because that will really come in handy. And that's really my tips for you guys. And even your breast milk, like I would put, I would, um, hand express and then I would put my breast milk on like the infected area whatever was hurting me whatever was cracked and that would really really help just keep just let it like dry up and air it out and just keep putting milk on there and I promise milk is good for so many different things that's why it's also so incredible you can give your baby milk baths if they have like baby eczema or dry skin there's just so many different like amazing things that breast milk can do and I'm not saying I'm anti formula at all because like I said I formula fed my first baby wilder and I completely agree that fed is best but this is just all about breastfeeding just want to clarify what are your thoughts on Maddie Lambert's situation on breastfeeding on YouTube I think that it is awful and I think that the judicial system is really in the wrong for this and I feel like Maddie has a right to breastfeed wherever she wants not only Maddie but like everyone like that's your human right that is your right to be able to breastfeed wherever you want whether that's on social media on YouTube like whatever you want to do like you should be able to do that for her to have her rights taken away from her i am so so aggravated about the situation that's literally like her rights being taken away from her like she makes youtube videos for a living like that is her job and for her not to be able to feed her child on her job like during her job is just insane and not only that but like maddie is doing something that all of us are trying to do and that is normalize breastfeeding and the only way to do that is to normalize it, to breastfeed, to to empower other women. And she has a large platform and I feel like she is so incredible for doing that and for promoting that on her channel. And for that to be taken away is just gets me so heated and I'm so passionate about this subject and I just, I hate it for her, I really do. It just hurts me that she is going through all of this and, and it also hurts me that someone is trying to take away something that's so natural something that could really be helping so many other women 
so many other young moms that could be scared and i just feel like there's so much more i have to say on that subject but i would be here all night but i just i hate it for her anyways yeah that's my thoughts on it i I'm with Maddie 100%. How often do you feed and or pump? I pump about once a day. Sometimes I forget, so maybe I'll pump like every other day or every two days or whatever. Just so I have a stock in the freezer for if something happens, like anything could happen. Like I could break my bone and have to be in the hospital and somebody would have to feed Hazel. Like anything could happen and I used to just exclusively, exclusively breastfeed her I wouldn't pump I wouldn't use a bottle or anything and then I came to realize like I need to start building more of a stash so I can at least you know have some kind of backup I just want a stash so I definitely do pump maybe not every single day but like I try to because whenever I do pump I'll only get like an ounce because my milk is so regulated now to what Hazel needs that I'm just I don't really get that much out of pump so i do try like every other day or so wow i'm sorry for the 50th time if i look ridiculous but whenever i do pump i use the spectra and this is the best pump i've ever used this is a spectra s2 plus and it is so much better than the medela in my opinion because i do have the medela like the backpack one and even though that's portable i just love this one so much more i feel like i get the most milk out and it's a lot more powerful without hurting and i just it's so lightweight and it comes with like a little um if it was plugged in i could show you but it has like a little night light on it and what are you doing babe are you making cereal <laughs> but yeah anyways i just love the spectra it has like a little um what is this called um a little compartment for your bottle that you can stick there and yeah it's just it's a great pump as for feeding i feed hazel probably about like every two seconds <laughs> every like two hours or so and during the night i feed her probably about every three hours if i'm lucky four and i say if i'm lucky because that's whenever i'm sleeping but um yeah she still feeds quite often i just remember that i forgot to um start telling your handles and i'm so sorry i literally said in the middle of this video i'm gonna start saying your names and i completely forgot oh another thing with the pumping situation if you guys have not heard of the haka um the only reason i call it a haka is because garrett calls it a haka and now i can't pronounce like the actual name it's h-a-a-k-k a, I believe I don't know how to pronounce that because Garrick has just called it a haka ever ever since the beginning so that's just what we call it but if you guys haven't heard of it I will put a little picture right here so you guys know what I'm talking about but it is such a game changer you guys I did not whip out my pump until like I really needed a big 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 stash of milk because and you don't even need like an electric pump you can get you can build a big stash of milk just from the haka whenever i'm feeding hazel on one side like i'll leak from the other side so i'll use the haka on the other side um if i remember and i will catch not even lying like two to three ounces every time and if you're doing that's just milk that would go to waste like in my bra or like in my um nipple pad or whatever so if like if you do that every single time that you're feeding your baby like you will accumulate such a huge stash of milk it's insane and so i highly 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 recommend the haka haka ka, whatever it's called and um yeah definitely invest in that it's like 12 bucks on amazon or something and it is the best manual pump ever you just like squeeze it i would show you right now but it's in the wash but you just like squeeze it and leave it there and just forget about it while you're nursing or even while you're electric pumping on one side and it catches like your letdown and like everything that would just be wasted get the hakaka or haka whatever get it i'm telling you do you have to be careful about the shirts and the bras that you choose because of breastfeeding and leaks this is a really good question and yes i do so i only wear um like loose fitting clothes i'm not saying that you have to wear loose fitting clothes at all that's just like what's comfortable for me because i can easily access my boobs so i definitely highly recommend um loose fitting clothes 
um like cute loose fitting clothes though you know but in the beginning like all i wore was just a tank top because i had like a culture shock of having to always wear bras because i'm the type of girl i hate wearing bras i never used to wear bras and i still kind of don't because i'm not leaking as much anymore so i'll go all the time without wearing bras but whenever i first started breastfeeding in the beginning of hazel's life i would always just wear tank tops with like the nursing um what are they called nursing pads um and i would just like change them out but I hated wearing bras. Oh my God, it's such a culture shock. Like I hated wearing bras. Now I really only like wearing sports bras and um, if I need to, I'll put nursing pads in them, but I haven't, I haven't used those in a while. But really, if you are leaking like enough to notice on your clothes, like definitely just get nursing pads and you won't have to worry about like what you're wearing or like what clothes like if they're light or dark or whatever because it won't matter because you'll have the nursing pads you know do you carry a pumping thing around <laughs> no i don't um sometimes i'll bring haka with me if i like need to worry about building my stash up like like i said whenever i was going to the wedding like i would carry the haka with me but other than that like no i don't i like i said i didn't even um start really pumping and making that big of a stash until just recently do mothers really lactate when you hear a baby crying if so do you leak through oh my god y'all this is the craziest thing ever yes hazel will be crying from like across the freaking room like derek will be upstairs i'll be downstairs he'll have hazel she'll start crying and i will hear that little cry just for a freaking second and my nipples will start leaking it's the wildest thing ever it's just so crazy how like this earth like you as a woman you right here watching this video if you're a woman you were put on this earth to reproduce and lactate and make milk for your child that's just so insane so crazy and your body knows when your baby is crying because your freaking milk leaks like hello your baby's hungry like that's what your boobs are saying it's the craziest thing even babies that aren't even my babies like if they are crying my boobs will leak it's so crazy so yes that is 100 percent true do you co-sleep for night feeds yes i do does it tickle someone asked um no i mean sometimes maybe in like weird positions like that you're not used to yes maybe but for the most part like no it's just such a natural thing that like it's just like what can i even relate that to like brushing your hair is like so like natural like you don't think about what it feels like i guess that's kind of what it feels like not brushing your hair but like the concept you know like you don't you don't really think about feeling it it's just a thing you know you know you know you probably don't know but if you haven't done it but if you know you know okay so the last question i'm going to ask is um would you breastfeed your next children and my answer is absolutely i would um and if you guys have any other questions for me as far as like breastfeeding and um just any other questions i feel like i tried to answer the majority of the questions that were like repetitive and asked a lot but if you guys really have a question that you want answered that you feel that I might be able to help you with, definitely just hit up my inbox. But I do want to let you guys know there are tons of amazing Facebook groups that really, really helps me during my um, journey in the beginning. And still now I'll go on there. Um, but definitely go and, you know, join all the Facebook groups. They really, really, really can help. And even your local lactation consultants. Um, just having someone maybe come to the house in the beginning of your breastfeeding journey if you're having troubles that could really help I remember I went to a lactation consultant and they really helped me like um, feel confident in what I was doing and knowing that I was doing it correctly and just like so many different factors can go into breastfeeding that a lot of women may not know so it just can be really helpful to have all the resources necessary if you need them so definitely recommend that but yeah i really love just sitting down and talking to you guys i know a lot of our channel is vlogs but i feel like it's really important to kind of sit down and talk with you guys i really need to go and take this mask off my face um but it was fun to kind of sit and you know do a little face mask thank you guys so much for watching this video and like i said if you guys have any other questions dm me anyways that's pretty much all for today's video today's instagram shout out babin 
Today's Instagram shout out is Tiffany Bell Rose, T Belly 98. Shout out to you. Thank you so, so much for being a part of our clan. We love you so much. Thank you for following along our journey. Thank you for asking a question. You were one of the ones that asked. Just thank you for supporting us. Seriously, thank you to each and every one of you that are sitting down watching this video right now, supporting our channel, supporting us as a family just supporting our journey it means the absolute most and i know we say that constantly and it might get annoying but it really does we we love you guys so much and we cherish each and every one of you it's just so crazy that we have you guys that are watching us we i just feel like we're this huge community of just like positive vibes and good energy and just pure love and i just i can't thank you guys enough but anyways i'll stop ranting if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel if you have not already Tickle that notification bell, please, so you guys don't miss any of our upcoming videos, and we'll see you in the next one.